In this video, we're going to concentrate on connect curve creation. This is when you create a curve between elements. It's located under the wireframe in the section bar. And if we go to the action bar, if it's not shown, select one of the downward arrows and a pop-up menu will appear. As you can see, it's shown here. And let's go ahead and select on that. Notice we get the connect curve definition dialog. At the top, we have Connect Type, and we have a drop-down menu. We have our choices between Normal and Base Curve. Normal allows you to select a first and second point, continuity type, and tensions for each point when creating a Connect Curve. The Base Curve allows you to select a base curve that defines the orientation of the Connect Curve. The continuity and tension values are unavailable and set to Tangency and 1, respectively. For this example, we're going to select normal. And now we're going to move into our first curve. We're going to go ahead and select the endpoint of this curve here. Notice right away, under first curve, we have the point, which is part of the sketch and the vertex of that sketch, and the curve itself of that sketch. Now next we have the continuity, and there's a drop-down menu. Here we have the choices of point, tangency, and curvature. The point defines that the connect curve is joined directly to the first or second curves. A smooth connect curve is not created between elements with this option. Tangency, this defines that the connect curve is tangent continuous to the first or second curve. To reverse the tangency direction, pick the tangency arrow in the graphics window. And finally we have curvature. This defines that the connect curve is curvature continuous to the first or second curve. To reverse the curvature direction, again, pick the curvature arrow in the graphics window. And you'll notice that the arrow is right here. So we're going to go ahead with curvature. We're going to leave our tension at 1. This defines how much control the continuity option has over the shape of the connect curve. Now you can independently set the tension for the first and second elements, but for this example we're going to leave it at 1. Now next we have the reverse direction. When selected, notice that our arrow moves back and forth. This reverses the direction in which the connect curve is created. Now let's go ahead and select our second curve, and we're going to select the point of this sketch here. And notice in our continuity, we're going to select curvature. Now again, we can change the reverse direction button, and notice when we do that, what happens to that curve between when we change those arrows, we want it to be smooth. So we're going to leave it in these directions. You may have to select the reverse direction button on and off to make sure that it's going in the proper direction that you want. And finally we have trim elements. And we're going to select on that. Trim elements defines if the first and second curves are trimmed. And once we see what we like, we'll go ahead and select OK. And we have a nice continuous connect curve. 